Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. File Finder, and welcome back to our special Butter Sister Time series on setting up dual monitors on your PC. In this segment, we're going to take a brief look at graphics cards and connectors. The majority of graphics cards in today's computers support dual monitors. If you want to find out if yours does, you need to know what kind it is. So click on Computer, Properties, Device Manager, and then here under Display Adapters, you should see a name. Here we have NVIDIA GE Force 8300. You just search for it and read about the graphics card and it'll tell you if it supports dual monitors. There's a wide range of graphics cards available and a huge array of price ranges based on what they come with, how much memory, and so on. See, some have connectors that are side by side, some are top and bottom. The most common connector currently is DVI. This is a DVI connector. This is a VGA connector and many computers and even some monitors will still have both connectors because both are still commonly in use. Another connector you may see, which is also very common on televisions, is the HDMI connector. One thing you'll want to do is make sure you have the right connections to fit your monitors into your graphics card. In some cases, when you have a graphics card that can support dual monitors, you can use a Y connector like this. This goes into the computer and each of these ends goes to a monitor. So to make sure you can have dual monitors, check your gra existing graphics card. If it can support it, go ahead. If not, purchase a new graphics card. Even if you bought two new monitors and a graphics card, you could come out under $400. Keep in mind, this is a multiple part series and be sure to watch all the parts. Thank you.